Psalms 15. Lord, who shall abide in the tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh upright and worketh righteousness, and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. In whose eyes a vile person is contemned, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changes not, he that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Chapter 16 Preserve me, O Lord, for in thee do I put my trust. O my Lord, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten, after another God, their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance, and of my cup thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me to pleasant places, yea, I have a godly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope, for thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy, as thy right hand they are pleasures for evermore. Chapter 17 Hear the right, O Lord. Attend unto my cry, give ear unto my prayer, that goeth not out of vain lips, that my sentence come forth from thy presence, that thine eyes be always behold the things that are equal. Thou hast proved mine heart, thou hast visited me in the night, thou hast tried me, and shalt find nothing. I am proposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of thy lips I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me. O Lord, incline thine ear unto me, and hear my speech. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that savest by thy right hand, them which put their trust in thee, from the, those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me under the shadow of thy wings, from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies, whom come past me about. They are enclosed in their own fat, with their mouth they speak proudly. They have not compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth, like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. From men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures, they are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I am wake with thy likeness. Chapter 18 I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so I shall be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compressed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my outcry came before him even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, the foundations also of the hill moved and were shaken, because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. Devoured coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down, and the darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness in secret places, pavilion round about him, where dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. 
Yet he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Then the channels of water were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of my waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into the large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands, hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from thy God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore has the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands and his eyesight. With the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful, and with an upright man wilt show thyself upright. With the pure thou wilt show thyself pure, and with the forward thou wilt show thyself forward. For they wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down high looks. For thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a truth, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those who trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my heart like hind's feet, and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation in thy right hand, has holding me up, and thy gentleness has made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps unto me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies, and overtaken them, neither did I turn again, till they were consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with thy strength into the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. He did, then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from thy strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the heel of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. The Lord liveth and blessed be my rock, and let the Lord God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avenges me and subdueth the people under me. He delivered me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up upon those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thy my end, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth me to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointment, to David and to his seed forevermore. Chapter 19. The heavens declare the glory of the God, and the firmament show us his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter than in honey, and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. 
Keep back thy servant also from presumptions, presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgressions. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Chapter 20. That will be next. Chapter 20. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and the strength in thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt hot sacrifice. Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all of thy petitions. Now know that I, the Lord, saveth his anointed. You will hear them from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save the Lord, let the king hear when we call.